so before going into the anti replay service we need to understand what is a replay attack so a replay attack is one in which an attacker will obtain a copy of an authenticated packet and will later transmit it to the intended destination the recipient of the duplicate authenticated ip packets may disrupt the service in some way or may have some other undesired consequence the sequence number field is designed to prevent such attacks so when an new security association is established the sender will initialize a sequence number counter to 0 so each time that a packet is sent on this particular security association the sender will increment the counter and place the value in the sequence number field so the first value to be used will be equal to 1 and if the anti replay is enabled by default the sender uh, must not allow the sequence number to cycle past 2 to the power 32 minus 1 back to 0 otherwise there would be multiple valid packets with the same sequence number so if the limit of 2 to the power 32 minus 1 is reached the sender should terminate this particular security association and negotiate a new sa with a new key so because we say ip is a connectionless and reliable service this particular protocol will not guarantee that the packets will be delivered in order and it does not guarantee that all the packets will be delivered therefore mainly the ip security authentication document will dictate that the receiver should implement a window size w that is shown here with the default of w to be equal to 64 so the right edge of the window will represent the highest sequence number which will be represented as n for a packet which is received and considered as valid for any packet with a sequence number in the range n minus w plus 1 to n that is been correctly received the corresponding slot in the window will be marked so you can see the corresponding slot in the window ranging from n minus w plus 1 to n is marked you can see here it has been indicated with a slightish gray color the unmarked if valid packet is not received is marked with a white so if a received packet falls within the window and is new the mac will be checked so this corresponds to the inbound processing when a packet is received so the first thing would be if the received packet falls within the window and is new the mac is checked if the packet is authenticated the corresponding slot in the window will be marked secondly if the packet is to the right of the window and is new the mac is checked if the packet is authenticated the window is advanced so that the sequence number is at the right edge of the window and the corresponding slot in the window is marked then we have if the received packet is to the left of the window or if authentication fails the packet is considered as not valid or it is discarded so the same thing can be observed here in the anti replay mechanism so we will consider the window from n minus w plus 1 till n we can consider this window size or this particular frame to be advanced 
or it can be considered towards the left but we should ensure that we receive a valid packet 